Yeah. All right, New Horizon people, we got our first, well, technically second, but I didn't film the first one because you've all seen that one before, but we've got our first driveway grading of 2023. You got Richard here with me. He's going to help me. He's only got a few <clears throat> a few weeks to help me because he's getting ready to have... Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> he's got to have knee replacement, basically surgery. So he's going to be out for a few weeks, actually a few months. Oh, six months. Six months or something like that. So he's going to be busy. I don't know y'all probably can't see me. Hey, you can see me now. But we've got this doctor's office parking lot that I actually plow. You've probably seen videos of me plowing and I'll leave that here if you can see me doing a little plowing but uh we've got a mess out here for me plowing and just from over the years so we're gonna come in <clears throat> and grab all this rock and pull it out in the driveway we got the box blade here we got a bunch of rock over here that needs to be pulled up we're gonna have richard with the rake I had a grade all those should have brought the leaf blower out but blow all those leaves down the hill push them down the hill and we're going to try to get this fixed up <clears throat> the best we can. Now, I've got something set up. We're going to have it set up here to get some good footage. Um, we've got a, you know, with me being a DJ, I've got, <clears throat> I've got some uh, cool stuff. I don't have a drone as of yet, but I've got something I can get an aerial shot with. I brought one of my big crank-up stands out here. We're going to put the GoPro up on it. And we are going to get you an elevated shot uh, <clears throat> for that. So let's get to it. That's that. I can show you up here how the rock's all a mess. We do got the Kubota with the blade on because we're going to angle it around the sides and kind of pull stuff to the center. And then we are going <clears throat> to put the box blade on with the scar fires or teeth or whatever you call them and rip, rip this up. There's some we're looking rock there but we're gonna try to fix this all up just get it looking better <clears throat> it might take an hour or two or three but we're gonna get it fixed and then hopefully he won't have to buy any rock this year so let's get to it
guys. Well, um, it's going pretty good. We got this all kind of graded out. I've got to touch it up a little bit with the back blade or with the uh, other blade over there. But there's, like I said, normally when you do a driveway, people think, oh, I need more rock. No, you need to break loose what's there and regrade it. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but we're getting a lot of it graded. <coughs> he normally has a tandem load brought in here every year. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> dust in my throat. But uh, yeah, seems to be okay. So we're gonna set the tripod up here. I've got a little bit of gravel up here around this flower bed I'm gonna rake out. And then I'm gonna go around with the box plate a little bit more and grade out some more. And uh, then we're going to set the box blade probably on the trailer. And then I'm going to take the, uh, whatchamacallit over there, and uh, flip it around backwards and drive across this and smooth it out. And this will be good. It's supposed to rain probably a couple inches next week. So we will get this all <coughs> graded. And the rain will come in, all the dirt will wash down through the rock, and all you'll have is nice rock. So. Let's get to uh, Rick. pretty good <clears throat> we got their uh, what do you call it they had a parking block buried in there we got it dug out it was buried below the <laughs> that's to keep people I guess from running into the propane tank but I don't think that's gonna stop them if that if that propane tank don't stop them the ravine down here will it's a beautiful ravine good looking i mean this is beautiful out here they got a nice little creek and lake and i'll kind of show you that over there you can see it down there but <clears throat> it looks good they got a bunch of leaves that i need to bring uh the Kubota back out here and just shove all this stuff down the hill because uh, i remember when i first started uh working here and doing this uh snow plowing and driveway work that uh yeah it's uh <laughs> these little bushes and saplings used to never be here so that stuff's growing out driveway actually used to go to the edge there right sorry I ain't killing you very much there but right there to the edge of those but uh, it's kind of good because that's a drop sometimes I'm out here plowing at night it's sketchy not to drive down that big ravine but did pretty good everything looks better a lot better than it did now if I had a lawn roller would have been cool to kind of roll over this and pack it down, but we got some rain coming and that would uh, be perfect. So hopefully we can uh, maybe talk to them about cleaning up their landscape area up here, maybe doing some landscaping a little better around their sign, and maybe putting some lighting on it and fixing this little mess up and all that stuff. Here's where my plow hit once. <laughs> where I was plowing, we can fix that. This grass out here is kind of that weird grass that doesn't grow very good, but... 
This area here could use a little bit of rock. It's mostly mud, so I didn't want to dig too much there. We do have a spot here that has a lot of water in it, and I'm gonna to have to tell him that there's a spot over here that uh, holds water. <laughs> Hopefully this rock will get down in there and dry up, pack in. We'll see, but looks pretty good. Here's the landscape area I was talking about. Get this all looking better. I mean, the rock is loose. Now there was a bunch of it here I was able to drag out, as you've probably seen, but I'll probably come in here this spring, clean all this out, trim all these bushes up. Bushes. Just like uh old friend said, them bushes, them bushes. So, yeah. But, um, what's cool, this is a little doctor's office. Used to be a house. Now it's uh, like a counseling service or, oh, my camera keeps zooming in. But, yeah. Looks good, and uh, what do you call it? Looks looks super good. Now let's go look at that little lake. Well, there's the uh, little lake, I guess you would call it. It's down in there, a lot of trees. That's a big ravine down there. I don't, this video does not do that ravine justice. But, yeah. That's uh, it's a nice, I don't know how deep it is. It looks pretty deep, at least 20 foot. So, yeah, but uh, everything turned out good. This is our first, well, second driveway that we've done <clears throat> this year. We did one for Mike, but I didn't film any of that. And you've all seen me do his driveway before. We got the box blade set just right on that, ripped this up just like we did this one, and filled in a lot of stuff. Uh, I think he is planning on getting some rock later this year, and we're going to be spreading that for him. So, I'm excited for that. One thing I have noticed is this place has a lot of bricks. and going to throw them over there. But yeah, a couple weeks after we get a good rain, this sits and soaks. We'll come check it out. I'll let you show what it looks like after a good rain, which will be next Wednesday into Thursday. We've got a pretty decent rain coming. So hopefully we get some more snow. It's not been, it's not been a good year for snow. We've had less than six inches the entire year. And it's, uh, it's something. I don't know why I've never seen a winter this snowless, but they say March. Something about the uh, polar vortex is switching directions and spinning backwards, and warming up and all that. So we'll see, March might be more snowier than what I think. Now I told my buddy Richard, I was like, you got all this looking nice for spring and summer. And then we're gonna get a big old snow and I'm gonna tear it up. <laughs> uh, but uh, generally I don't put my plow all the way down on rock. If it's packed down and frozen, I will because it won't move. We'd have to get a lot of moisture in the ground, which we're getting there already. And then we would have to get a good hard freeze to prevent this rock from moving before a snowstorm, which I don't see that happening. Ground temperatures are warming up. Grass is greening up. It is February. And I feel like here, if, if it keeps this up, staying warm, they're talking, I think on like Wednesday and Thursday, we could see temperatures up in the 70s. So we'll be very, um, very crazy if that happens, and I'll, I'll vlog about that. But uh, as you can see, the grass here is greening up. This is Lincoln Highway Road here in uh, south of Charleston. Charleston is actually back that way. So we're gonna go ahead and take a trailer and equipment home, put her up. Well and, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified when we upload.